Well, it's also been a very action-packed ride for GoPro stockholders for the day. The stock is up 1.5% for the year. GoPro is down around 18%. And as GoPro continues to dominate the market, Nick Woodman has also been gaining popularity as a panelist on the popular entrepreneurial reality show, Shark Tank, definitely one of my favorites. And Mark reversed the tables on Woodman. He took on the role of a Shark Tank investor, and he asked Woodman to pitch him, to sell him on GoPro's new camera. Uh, well because this is the smallest, lightest, most convenient GoPro we've ever made. It retails for $400, doesn't need a water housing, and look at this thing, it's so small that you can put it anywhere. With the press of a button, I'm now recording you. How are you enjoying your time here at GoPro headquarters? It's very cool. Sort of reminds me of uh, Bruce Wayne's mansion or something right here. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's a new camera every few months on the market. Um, Xiaomi has the e-action camera. Now Apple, I guess, recently filed a patent to get into the game too. Does this worry you at all? Uh, no. We're not feeling too much pressure from the competitors that you mentioned. Um, I think that GoPro is succeeding because we have millions of customers around the world who capture and share their lives with our product. And when they share their content, they give GoPro credit for it. Uh, when that content goes viral, our brand goes viral. <clears throat> and you see it in the sales. And so I think to compete with GoPro, you have to have what go makes GoPro so successful. You have to have millions of people capturing and sharing their lives on your platform and giving your brand credit. So it's a chicken and the egg. How these other companies get started when they don't have millions of customers like we do, it's proven difficult for them. If I called you a, a camera company, do you take offense to that? Or I think we started as a camera company and we recognized a few years ago that we're, the bigger opportunity is that we're a content enabling company. Hardware, the camera company side of our business is the beginning, that's where you capture the content. But we recognize we also have to make it easy for our customers to manage all of that content, edit that content so that they can then go and share it and virally drive our business. Uh, and we're working on a cloud solution for our customers where this uh, and every other GoPro will automatically cloud sync their content, giving you access on your mobile phone. And that, we believe, should open up the floodgates to a tremendous wave of uh, user-generated content at scales we haven't seen before. Does China fit into your expansion plans? Oh, absolutely. Uh, GoPro is succeeding in China right now in our first year there. Uh, we sell uh, three camera models. Uh, Hero 4 Session will be launching there shortly. Overall, do you think this ecosystem uh, fits in China? I think it does. It'd be helpful to localize content. Um, we, we have a lot of Western-based content themes, uh, activities, and it's important that we localize that content for the Chinese market. Not, not entirely, because consumers are consumers, and we get excited by seeing humans pursuing their passions and celebrating life. You really live and breathe your passion. I've been very lucky that uh, I was able to combine um, two of my passions to form a business, surfing and photography. And those came together to give me the idea for GoPro. And so I'm still, every day when I come to work, getting to focus on what I love to do, what I'm most passionate about. And that's a, that's a gift that, that, that I'm very grateful for. That, not everybody gets, right? I think that passion is our roadmap to our life. Passion is what motivates us to get up out of the chair and go do something, to move in a certain direction. And when you're moving in a certain direction, following something that's of interest to you, you encounter other people, other events, other things that can lead you to a certain destination. I heard an interesting thing that you like hiring family and friends, is that right? Yeah, I think. People would be worried that, oh, you gotta fire this person, this person's, uh, Johnny's not carrying his weight, I gotta carry him around. What well, about you, that? Well, you gotta, you gotta hire the right ones. <laughs> you can't go hire every friend. For me at GoPro, that started with just hiring um, either family members or people that I knew from school. Uh, and together, you know, as a team of 10, we did the work of 40 or 50 because every day we got to go to work with the people that we loved the most, and so it, it wasn't work, it was a joy. And now we're, I think, over 1,300 employees uh, globally at GoPro. What is your perception of how your employees and your team views you? And does it matter to you? Oh, it matters a lot. 
You want to you want to like the people that you go to work with. We all have to go to work. We all have to make a living. Why don't we create an environment that we actually want to go to? When you love what you do, you do a very good job of it. And that's a huge competitive advantage. And so I try to run a flat organization where um, you know I'm wearing a collar shirt today. Usually I'm in jeans and t-shirt and flip-flops. If somebody's unhappy at the company, they can and do come talk to me directly. And uh, we try to just keep as family and friends atmosphere as possible. And I think it's made all the difference. And I have people regularly tell me this is the best job they've ever had. You've made a number of appearances on the very popular show Shark Tank, where wealthy investors sit in judgment of entrepreneurs. Mm. What's that experience been like? <laughs> sit in judgment. Well, I try not to judge because I remember uh, how crazy my ideas must have sounded to people when I was getting started, so I'm very sensitive to that. And, and so you have to be a bit I crazy to, uh, to be an entrepreneur. You have to you know, believe in yourself and it, believe you see a future that other people can't sure. see. Uh, and I think Shark Tank is a phenomenal show for sharing with the general public how deals get done. Uh, I think maybe some of the sharks could take it a little easier on the entrepreneurs. And you can find more of Mark's interview with GoPro founder Nick Woodman on our website, cctv-america.com.